So the Craven meetings on ITV this week. It's nice to see it back in the limelight of late. And we've got four televised races tomorrow. Um, we're going to look at three of them for you, starting with the 225, which is a listed handicap over seven furlongs. It's pretty unoriginal stuff, I'm afraid, but the favourite, Azano, is uh, very difficult to oppose here. He uh, bumped into the Greenham winner, Mahatha, when finishing second in the Horace Hill at Newbury on his most recent run last year. And as you, as you guess, really, that form's worked out brilliantly well. They produced a green and winner. It leaves him five pounds clear on time forms, weight just the ratings for this. 15 to eight looks more than fair and can come home in front in this for Gosden and De Torre. Second race is the 3 p.m., the listed field and stakes over a mile and a furlong. And more on originality, I'm afraid, as uh, Western Australia looks to stand out better. He, um, was admittedly beaten at this level, finished second in the pattern stakes on reappearance at Dundalk last month, but actually shaped quite well that day considering he suffered uh, a fair deal of interference when he was just getting ahead of steam of things, getting going. And uh, his effort to finish third last season in the Futurity Trophy is a standout piece of form in this at Doncaster. Leaves him six pounds clear of the field on time forms, waste adjusted ratings, can take this for O'Brien and more. And uh, last but not least is the feature, the Group 3 Nell Gwynn Stakes at 3.35. I've actually written an in-depth preview on this for timeform.com, so do head over there to check it out. But long story short, the pick here is Main Edition. Uh, several of these are open to improvement, namely the Oso Sharp 1, 2, Mott Just and uh, Angels Hideaway, and also as well the once race Kabbalah, who created a big impression when winning last year. But Main Edition sets a really solid standard here uh, on her useful two-year-old form. She won twice at this level last year, and uh, she's got the physical scope as well to suggest that she will train on as a three-year-old and prove at least as good. She's genuine. She's a typical Mark Johnson filly, a front runner, two pounds clear on ratings, can be booted clear by Ryan Moore and will be very tough to stop.